Bosnian Serb forces are now under orders to hold a defensive line in northern Bosnia. Far from withdrawing, as has been the case in recent days, now they will use their armor to resist what still seems to be advancing Croat troops. Whether President Milosevic has ordered this stand from Belgrade is not clear. But Serb forces in this area near Bozanski Novi fired at NATO warplanes, and the self-styled Serb warlord Arkan is now known to have crossed into Serb-held Bosnia with his paramilitary hit squads. Bozanski Novi, for example, has been under heavy Croat shelling, but Serb forces are still in the town 30 miles west of Banja Luka and are not withdrawing. Yet not far to the south and just 15 miles from Banja Luka, Croat and Bosnian troops have now seized what was left of a Serb arms depot following recent NATO airstrikes. These are new weapons and military materiel for the under-equipped Bosnian 5th Corps and their delighted General Dudakovic. The weapons will stoke a military advance which, despite yesterday's announcement by Croat President Tuđman of a halt, seems still to be moving forward and gaining ground. In public, the Bosnian government continues to look to a political, not military, takeover of Banja Luka and perhaps 20,000 Muslims there. We are not looking to, um, in any way, uh, encourage the population of Banja Luka to leave. In fact, we would like to encourage them to stay by saying that uh, their safety will be assured from military action. Yet, on the ground, the signs suggest otherwise. There is piecemeal evidence today that Bosnian Croat forces have pushed forward the confrontation line towards Banja Luka, beyond Bozanski Novi and Sanski Most. Bosnian forces have also retaken most of the Osran hills in the east. More significant, Croat artillery has been firing from Croatia across the Sava River, and special forces have infiltrated Serb areas around Bozanska Dubica and further east too. Serb forces in Bozanska Dubica say Croat guns have been shelling the town for days to open up a northern front and weaken Serb resistance here. Twenty civilians were killed in the town. This is the evidence of the Croat Special Forces operation by a squad known as the Black Mambas, along with pictures of their bodies too mutilated to broadcast. If or when the Bosnian Croat Federation takes control of towns like this, there are signs that bitter internal Federation disputes will then result. We now know that yesterday's meeting in Zagreb between Presidents Tuđman and Izebegovic was dominated by furious argument. It was not over American envoy Richard Holbrook's efforts to make peace with Serbia. It was over who between the Croats and Bosnians will control what. There will be some uh, conflicts uh, even between uh, the allies who are now marching uh, rather triumphantly toward Banja Luka. Well, all this tension indicate that there is no harmony between the allies. The Bosnian-Croat Federation Agreement, signed in Washington 18 months ago under intense American political pressure, was always going to be a temporary marriage of convenience, fragile at best, unlikely to last in the long term, as those involved realized at the time. I think the Bosnian fear is that at the end of the day, Croatia is going to succeed in Bosnia where Serbia has failed dismally. Would you agree that, with that assessment? I think there is quite a lot to that. I think in the best light, the government in Sarajevo, which in many ways is already being surpassed by the Federation, uh, is going to end up as a satellite of the Croatian government uh, in Zagreb. In London today, the Bosnian president, Ali Izabegovic, received important British support for the principle of a united Sarajevo within a single Bosnia-Herzegovina, although John Major is not yet sure the American peace mission will produce a durable peace soon. The door is swinging open for peace, but it is not fully open yet. We hope very much that it will be possible to open that door entirely. Croat heavy guns have done most of the heavy fighting. The Bosnian government has not hidden its delight, but there is a new situation on the ground, and with it new complex political and military realities which may yet prove